Hello, I'm Neil Paddock from HowToProgramDrums.com. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the features, the main features, of the newly released Reason Refill for ScanSynth Pro 2, currently available for free download from Propellerhead's website for all registered Reason users. The newly created refill has 30 presets, multi-sampled for the NNXT sampler. During the course of this video, we'll be looking at combinator configurations and I'll be demoing some of the sounds. There are a couple of demos, Walton Racket composed by myself and Red Planet composed by my son James Paddock of jamespaddockmusic.com. This refill was developed with the cooperation and permission of John Proctor of Humanoid Sound Systems. ScanSynth Pro 2 was originally developed using scan synthesis which creates sounds that are out of this world. So with that in mind, let's take a look. The demo file that we've currently got on the screen is the first 10 patches. So just to give you an idea of how this works, fire up the demo soul, um, you'll get the, the blurb about it, the refill um, details. Let's pick the first sound from the sequence, uh, so I click on that to highlight it. We've got some nice bass there. Now bear in mind this is being recorded through a webcam, it's not going to be absolutely pristine quality. So what you can see on the screen at the moment, where I've selected the zone via MIDI, it's playing the beefy Digi um, 48 sample, which is mapped over these keys here, from um, round about F1 through to uh, uh, G2, I think. Okay. So uh, what about let's let's pick another one. Let's pick bass, big bottom end. So what we do, we'll um, we'll stick it on latch. So there's a nice kind of arpeggiator thing here. So if I put that on latch and just play a chord. And now we can actually swap out some of the other sounds. Okay, Oboean is a very sort of gentle pad, which is not, uh, or sounds, says it's a lead, doesn't come through as strongly as the others, hence we're not hearing much now. Back with Osriki. And set, and set to stun. There we go. So, so that gives you a quick, that gives you a quick uh, idea of some of the sounds that we've got. These are mostly leads. Now there is a, uh, if we go into the demo file itself, depending on how much memory I currently still have available on here, uh, we can pick the next uh, 11 to 20 demo songs. Sometimes Reason won't let you have too many songs open at once. It depends on how much memory you've got. This is a kind of an old machine and it's only got four gigabytes of it. So uh, let's just see if we can do the same thing uh, on this one. So now we've got patch number 11, which is lead Virazite. That's kind of nice and gentle. I'm not sure you're going to be able to hear that one. It sounds nice, it's just very quiet. How about the next one? So I think one of the things that I wanted to emphasise about ScanSynth is there's some very atmospheric patches on here. That's Alias. Let's move on to Arc Decimator. Now actually while I'm on Arc Decimator it's a bit of a weird noise so why don't we just open up one of the samples and take a look at it. And. Uh, I'm going to take my headphones off for this just in case it gets deafening. 
So that's one of our multi samples. It should get between the green bars and then start to loop. There you go. So it's looping at that point. And uh, each set of samples is made up of five, um, five sample notes in all, which are then duplicated and panned left and right so that you get the stereo effect. Ooh, noisy. Uh, let's have a look at Big Saw now. Now, bear in mind I've still got a few extra songs open that I probably should close down just to make sure that uh, we're not sucking too much processor. And if I select those, you'll see what I'm playing now. Note 48. Let's move on to Bonita Fader. What's one of my favourites, actually? That's nice. Um, Cinemascope, one of John's favourites. Yeah, just, just a word about the demos. Because these are NNXTs, samplers, this is the raw sample, effectively. Uh, there's nothing to stop you going in and wrapping these inside a combinator and using Reason's filters and EQ to tweak and tailor and cajole extra mileage out of these sounds. These are pretty raw. So if they sound a bit rough around the edges, part of that is going to be because they're being recorded on a, a Logitech webcam. And the other reason is that we're not necessarily filtering them directly from here. Although if I... I can do some filtering on the front panel. Maybe turn the resonance up. Fiddle about with decay and attack and so on. Uh, that's a little bit beyond the scope of what I want to talk about today. So let's just actually keep going. Cybernetic cellos. So if you're wanting to do a soundtrack and you want some kind of atmospheric stuff, there's uh, there's bucket loads of the stuff here. Dark Nebula. False Hope. Uh, groove chords. That's a bit of um, an interesting one. Should we? We might as well look at the others now, mightn't we? Go the whole nine yards. Let's just call up the third demo with uh, patches um, twenty-one to thirty. See if we can open that too. Here we go, all those lovely samples being loaded into NNXTs. Okay, I'm just going to shut down the other one, give us a bit of extra processing. Here we go, so pad number 21, Harmonium. Now I'm going to play lots of D minors, I uh, just happen to like that chord. Hive Mind. It's a nice alien one. Martian Sunrise. Mystery. But don't forget you're not hearing any reverb, there's nothing particularly flash that I've done with these things, these are pretty raw samples. They would have picked up some of the effects that were on the original patch, so I tried to keep as, as faithful to the original patches as possible. Overtones. That's pretty cool. Uh, soft overtones. Why? 
Nice. Sea of emotions. Yeah, these are cool. I like these. Uh, we've got sonority. Uh, rather an interesting name, this one, Stoned Out Cyborgs. And War Torn Mecha. Okay. So uh, that's the uh, kind of raw demos, if you want to get in and fire up one of those. Now, there's nothing to stop you, incidentally, going into the patch. And say you like the sound of... Um, can we find Martian Sunrise again? Let's have a look at that one. I rather like that one. Martian Sunrise, where are you? We'll grab that one. Um, there's nothing to stop you going into the uh, refill pack itself and then searching for the, uh, the combinators um, in here. So here we go, let's just um, let's fire up one of our um, scan synth refills. Okay, so here's a bunch of um, uh, folders with the samples in on screen. You won't necessarily see those if I was to click on them at the moment without opening up and unwrapping the NNXT further. So instead of going in and, and showing you nothing, let's do show all for other patches. And you'll see now that if I click on type, You've got Reason Combinator patches as well, hooray! So, if I go into a Martian Sunrise, I can effectively replace the NNXT in my demo with a Combinator. Now that Combinator is still going to have the NNXT in it, but it's got some other um, uh, extra gubbins, if you like, to help uh, modify the sound. Ah, there we go. So here's Martian Sunrise in all its glory, and uh, we should see, if we keep scrolling down, you'll see that there's a phaser, a filter, an equaliser, a reverb unit, and a compressor all built in. So, um, also, uh, we can bypass the effects, and we can turn off um, effects individually from this front panel. So if I now do a, a Martian Sunrise, I've uh, got some phaser on there actually, which I can turn off. But there's there's a whole bunch of effects on here. In fact, I can turn them all off with the bypass there, and then start to bring them in. So, for example, I think if we uh, we need to make sure our reverb is on, that will switch it off. Let's that should switch it back on again. There we go. Turn that up on the panel. And um, if I was to be especially clever and squash all this up, uh, for those of you who have seen combinators before, this isn't going to be a particular mystery, but we've got reverb on the front panel. If I wobble this about, you can see also down here that the dry wet button is being moved on this reverb unit, which is connected to all the stuff here. So um, there's the combinator. There's the NNXT, there's all the effects, and there's all the, the looping. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen this before. It won't hold any mysteries. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it before, oh well, this is pretty amazing stuff. All these uh, rack units that you can just keep uh, pulling in and uh, uh, you know changing and routing to different places. And that. It's absolutely fascinating. So uh, that's probably where I want to leave that. It's, it's also worth me um, just playing you a little bit of the demo. So that's um, Walton Racket and I should also say about my son's music, Red Planet. James has got his own website, we've got James's demo on there which is quite an interesting thing to take a look at. Uh, this started life as a MIDI file programmed into Cape Walk Express and basically I got hold of it and then applied the Scansen voices. So it's going to be similar um, in some respects to the uh, Walton Racket demo. So that concludes our look at the Scansen Pro 2 Reason Refill. 
I hope you've enjoyed the uh, presentation and I hope you enjoy downloading the refill and using it in your own music production. Do feel free to drop me a link to any music that you create with it. I'd be really pleased to uh, take a listen to it. So uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions or if you have any requests for future refills, feel free to drop me a line on neilpaddock.gmail.com or visit my website www.howtoprogramdrums.com That's all for now. I'll see you on the next video. All the best with your music making and have fun. Bye for now.